All right, I'm back again. We had a problem here. The device has not been updated since I purchased this uh, about two or three months ago. And uh, and uh, that, that would, this would be the second part of that. And I was explaining to you here how that our children, how that wonderful facilities to play. This is another playground here. Concrete floors, and sandboxes, and all kinds of things, trampolines, and all of that that our children can grow and physically and healthy and all kinds of things they can play with. Little things that the daughters can come. And this is where the funds go to maintain this community and to maintain us. And these are the kinds of things they, they have uh, opportunity to utilize. Now, there were about no dope dealer here. Big water tank, so what? They get all the water they want when they want to make cookies and things. They can exercise their young boys, their strength, and their daughters as well. Believe me, when I was a kid, we would roll on these things, and we were masterful with them. Diveter and the little young Ones, all of them, the old ones, they roll on that thing like they know what they're doing. And so this is what we have done, nation. It's sad that the wealth that among those that identify as Hebrew Israelites, and how they don't even utilize it in a way that will produce jobs. You don't have to beg the white man for nothing. And this is for my little babies here. You don't hear, and, mm, and that's for the young, big sons down there. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. This is how we live here, nation, and no one is going to come and try to uh, give us instructions. No one. Beautiful tabernacle. The sun is out, so this is our entrance into this section of our community. We built all of this. Yeah, we have lions up here, too. There was a fool that was once with us. They said that that was pig and yacht in the house that Shilomo built. There were all kinds of constructs. It is foolish of the ignorance of man. And so when you come into Teshua community, you're going to come in and you're going to see this. And do the speed limit here, too. I don't play with no one when they come in here doing 10, 15, 20 miles an hour. You do five. Our babies are here. But that's what you will see. You see that speed? Slow down five. Watch for the children. Beautiful here. This is Teshua, Hebrew, or Hebrew, Yisraelite community. And then we'll do a panorama here. And all of that nation. We welcome the people of Yah. Just come with integrity and honesty. Don't come here. I'm saying that. Our tabernacle. You will see this whole place. You haven't even seen a segment of it. And this is our community where the homes are, where the people live, down this road. We have homes. You see that pretty house? Let me show you. I said to one, I will show us all the homes. That house right there is a beautiful home right there. We have taken the mobile homes to make them homes, put roofs on them. I said to well, we have a five-bedroom home here, beautiful home. Used to be a pond right in front of it, but with all the rain we got those years, it just tore the dam down. And my son, the one Yavasadak, said, Rhea, we can build that back up, and we may do that. But these are homes, and this is the community. Just pan that, the beauty of colors. I believe in colors. I don't want nothing brown and gray. Nah, mm -mm. I believe in beautiful colors, and that's what we have here, beautiful colors. Look at the roofs of our buildings and all of that. I don't want no gray roof, no brown roof. I want colorful things here that excite our babies, our children. We have everything we need. Let me show you one more thing, and I'm going to close. You see that towel there, that towel? I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll make sure you be able to see it. That's a low-power radio station. 
It's amazing because you that are Hebrew Israelites, I'm not condemning you. I'm going by your mantra. I know who I am. I know who I am. This is a low-power radio station here. It is called WVOY, Word Voice of Yahweh. That towel there. That towel, I paid $200 for it. And when those low-power radio stations were available, and when I fill out the application for that in Charlotte, if I had put it in that place where we were purchasing, the building right now would be worth minimum $1.5 million to $2 million. But this was more important. I sold the building that we made nothing but enough to purchase this land, and it was not enough to pay for it. Because I knew this was right. This is not my concept. I got it from an old Mississippi Baptist preacher that took all those poor folks on welfare and took them off. Now, that's a Hebrew right there. Well, he's a Baptist, but he had more sense and direction than you that raise hell all the time and belittle even your women. You will go to hell as far as Rayak is concerned. This is our home here. And you're not coming here to tell me nothing. Nothing. You may can help me and show me how to plant a bean seed. I doubt if you can do that. But you're arrogant. Yes, I'm arrogant in that regard. But I'm not an arrogant man. This is our beautiful community. This is it. Place of shalom, fellowship, beauty. It's a beautiful place, nation. It is. This is our place. This is where we live and eat, educate our children. And I'm not trying to. I tell the teachers all the time. There's only one thing I want you to impart in them. It's just one thing. And that one thing is teach them that they love to learn. My segregated school taught me to love to learn. And there is nothing that they cannot do. I said to them the other day, if you wanted to be a doctor, the only thing you must do, I don't know if you get the internship, but you can't do it without any kind of formula, formal education. You can become a lawyer. You just got to pass the bar exam. You pass that, they cannot prevent you. And so we teach our children to understand the beauty of leadership and their place. The sons and the daughters, the men honoring the daughters with great care and great love, not calling them a dog. Ah, because she doesn't understand the proper protocol of dress. And I call the other dirty bastards, that's what they are to me, that rape the women, calling themselves having three, four, five, six wives, fat men, fat as I am. It's wrong. I don't apologize. I am unapologetic when it comes to this. I will let no one treat the people of Yah wrong. And one of the purest signs of a leader that he's humble, he submits himself, but he takes authority and he knows how to. I'm going to close with this. Because there's one more thing I want you to see. My issue and I, it will be 27 years we've been here in March. And what but see, when we came here, I tell people all the time, rattlesnakes, copperhead, ticks. That was all here. That was our guess. And so we had no facility. We had to go out and haul water in here. We didn't have any of that. And my issue, she wanted to participate in everything she could in every event. And so we had to defecate and dig holes and discard that and she's going to make sure that she is carrying out her responsibility and she's going to take on that I said no you let me handle that 
And so what I did, I will show you. I built this building 27 years ago. It is a campus toilet. Now, Zachin built this. And I built this from wood from a house that this wealthy Iranian woman gave me. She, she wanted to give me a Mercedes Benz. I said, I don't want this. Oh, well, I want you to have this or you take this because I like you. She was Iranian. Her husband was a doctor. And she was building 45 luxury homes in this community. And the house was this antebellum, beautiful home. So we tore it down because we had no monies. We had nothing. And I built this most beautiful little building right here, here when I'm gone. That's an outhouse. And my wife and I use that. And every now and then I will still use it to urinate, but not the other part. I built that house out of all that wood that was discarded. Old rusty tin. And that is the signature signature of this place from nothing from the disregard that was made living place so i will close with this yabaruk you all do respond to this video and i want to at least every other day bring a video about everything husband tree the land where the akim hunt the vast amount of property we have it's sad. It's sad. May the riches of your rest upon you in the assurance of Yahshua Hamashiach. And with that, I say to you all, Shalom, my friend. Shalom, shalom.